Hello, this is Julie from Bubbleberries Class. Thank you for joining me today. Today I'm going to show you how to make this lovely little handle treat box. Um, it's a nice size. The actual box area measures 4 inches by 3 inches by an inch. So it's quite nice. You can get quite a few treats in there or maybe even a little gift. So this is what we're going to be making. So let's get started. To do this you will need a piece of cardstock, I'm using the baked brown sugar and this needs to measure 6 inches by 11 inches and then I'm going to bring in my scoreboard and as always don't worry about any of the sizes or the scoring there will be a link below that you can click on that will take you straight over to my blog so with the long side in your scoreboard we need to score at one and a half, two five, six, nine and nine and a half. Then turning your card stock, so the short side is now at the top, we need to just score at one and five inches. And then that's all the scoring done. Just move this to one side. Then we can come along and using our bone folder we can just burnish all of these folds that we've just made. This just helps to give us a nice crisp box. Continuing burnishing them folds. Once that's done, we need to take our scissors and you will see that on each corner you have <clears throat> excuse me, the narrow top and bottom and two little boxes within that section. Can you see that? Let's move that in. These two sections here, on each of these four corners, we need to just come along and remove them. So with your scissors, follow the score lines and just chop them completely away. We can come along and do exactly the same on the other side. The last corner. Then you'll be left with this shape here and then in the centre you will see you'll have two score lines running down. We just need to come and snip up these two score lines just to the score line that runs across. So again taking your scissors, snip up them score lines on either side. And then that is our box all cut and complete ready to be put in together. Turning it over we can then add our designer series paper um, and I've chosen this one because I'm going to pick up on the Chris Cantaloupe that's within the paper and these need to measure three and seven eighths by two and seven eighths and you'll need two pieces of this and then just using some snail or whatever your chosen adhesive is we can just come along and stick them onto the panels on either side so that's the DSP now on and then um, you'll notice that I have a little handle here and we're going to pop that in now and to do this I am using the modern label punch and I find that the easiest way is to take some post-it notes. It can be a little awkward to get it into the punch but if you just punch on the sticky end, popping that in and punching one of them out 
and it gives you the adhesive on there already and then lining it up on to your lid part here and centralizing it and once you're happy with the position that that's in you can then go back in with your modern label punch and just line up round it and punch that away then you can remove your template again and then what I do is I fold the box sort of back on itself and then you can see where you've just punched and then I just lay the template inside and then we can go ahead and punch again and then you know that you are completely centralised for your handles. And there you are, there's your handles and they are nicely centralised when you come to do up your box. Then to actually put the box together, the two little flaps that you have here, we need to pop some glue on them. I'm going to use some um, liquid glue today and I'm just popping a bit of glue on these two tabs. And then bringing up this part I'm just sticking them down and doing exactly the same thing on the other side and then you'll be left shaped like that. Then we just need to bring these up and stick these down so again using some glue or sticky strip pop some glue on these two pieces Again, just bring them up to wrap round and stick them into place. Okay, and that's the box then all together. You'll notice that we have the two score lines, little tiny ones at the top here. And what I do to get that to close is I just push forwards and then bring the handle part up and I do that on both sides and that just helps to get the card stock to lay in the position that you'd like it to. So once that's all tied together it will sit quite nicely over the box. To tie this together I'm just using some of the Chris Cantaloupe ribbon. Um, I'm just going to tie a knot because I am not very good at all at bows so if you'd like to put a bow obviously put a bow um, but for me it's going to be a knot today so just tying that off to the side take your scissors and pretting the ends up And then we can come along and do the stamping and the decorating. So for the stamping today I am using the label something set and I'm going to be using the hello stamp there. Um, so I've got that prepared already. I'm then taking some Chris Cantaloupe ink and I'm just going to stamp one of them out to the side and then I'm using the large oval punch and I'm just going to sort of nestle that around there and punch that out to one side and I'm then taking the sponge and the crisp cantaloupe and I'm just going around and sponging the edges all the way around I've then got some of the Chris Cantaloupe cardstock and I'm using the 
scallop oval. I'm just punching one of them out. And then using some dimensionals, pop a couple onto the back. And place that into the centre of the scallop. And then for the flowers, I'm using the Itty Bitty Accents Flower Punch and taking some of the matching designer series paper I'm just going to punch out five of them and then bringing in my sponge mat and using a ball tool or the back of your paper piercer just roll it around in the centre and they'll all pop up in 3D fashion I'm then taking some diamantes and I'm just placing one into the into each of the flowers. Okay. And then we can take some glue dots. Turning all of these over, you can bring your box and your sentiment in, <clears throat> and then using the glue dots, I'm just clustering three of these up in the top corner. then at the top and then whoops taking another couple of dimensionals onto the back of your sentiment and then I'm just popping it down in the right bottom right hand corner popping that on and then the last two flowers that we have Again, using a glue dot, putting it onto the back and then just positioning them wherever you'd like to really. And there we go. That's how quick and easy this project is. But I think they look quite good and they're going to hold a nice size gift or chocolate treats etc for somebody. So I do hope you've enjoyed this and thank you for coming along and I hope to speak to you soon. Bye bye.